Hi guys, today I wanted to read to you Little Miss Spider at Sunny Patch School. Have you ever worried about being good at everything? Well, Little Miss Spider thinks she's supposed to be good at everything because she's going to bug school. Let's find out how that works for her and then let's talk a little bit about it at the end. Little Miss Spider at Sunny Patch School. Paintings and verse by David Kirk. Verse means that this is written in kind of a poem or song. Little Miss Spider got ready for school. She packed her new notebook, her pencils, and rule. See, she's got her ruler. Notebook. What's her backpack made out of? Hmm. Peering outside, she sipped tea from her cup and eagerly watched for the sun to come up. Think she's a little excited about school starting. She got up so early before the sun even came up. She dreamt as she gazed, her mind running through the wonderful things she would learn how to do. See all the things she's thinking about? She's thinking she's going to learn how to do art and read, make science potions, math, play. Of course, that's everyone's favorite. And fly and bounce balls and jump, uh, jump rope. And of course, what do spiders do best but make thread, right? So this is all in her imaginations of what she's thinking she's going to do at school. Sunny Patch School was the best place to go to study the lessons all bugs ought to know. There were classes in climbing and clinging to walls, find for hiding in bushes and curling in balls. What kind of bugs are good at that? She would learn about flowers from petal to root how to chew tasty leaves and tunnel through fruit. Wow, look at all these bugs tunneling through this. What is that? That looks like a pear. Do you see that? Looks like a pear on its side. And little creatures have gotten into it. Have you ever gotten a fruit off the ground that had animals, little insects inside? She gobbled her breakfast a fresh flower plate. Then she ran the whole way to be first at the gate. She wanted to be the first one at school. The principal smiled as he pulled back the latch. I know you'll be happy at dear Sunny Patch. See your principal? The principal's a praying mantis, isn't he? But she found that she lacked talent for hiding in trees, for chirping like crickets, or humming like bees. Could she do all those things as well as they could? Doesn't sound like it. She hadn't the strength to drill leaves with her tongue and hardly the stomach for digging in dung. Oof. I wouldn't either. <laughs> of course, I'm not a bug, but she didn't want to do the same things that all the other bugs did. It didn't seem right to her. I am useless at stinging, she said with a sigh. Perhaps I'll be better at learning to fly. Do spiders fly? Hmm. I see she's imagining putting some feathers on, on her back. Each student was tossed from the leaf of a rose. Poor little Miss Spider fell flat on her nose. Oh, did those feathers work for her? Not so much. The school day was over. They sounded the bell. She sobbed. Is there anything I can do well? Look at her. She's so sad. Then she heard a bug cry, I'm stuck in a spout. So she climbed to the top 
and she hoisted him out. Look, this is a spout. And there was a bug stuck up in the spout. And she pulled and she pulled. What did she pull with? Did she use her spider string? The principal beamed. That means he smiled really big as he watched from afar. He lifted Miss Spider and gave her a star. See the star he gave her? How did that make her feel? Pretty special, huh? Our gifts, they are many. We hop, fly, and crawl. But kindness, he said, is the finest of all. And is that true? Do you agree with that? Being kind, is that the best thing that you could be? Absolutely. We're not all great at the same things. We're all great at different things. And that's what makes this world a fun place to live in. It would be boring if we were all the same. So, little Miss Spider learned a valuable lesson. And make sure you remember to be kind to others. Not everybody's going to do the same things that you do, and that's okay. You accept them as they are, and they accept you for the things that you're good at. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed that book.